Navoy region located in the Zarafshan oasis on the expanses of the Kizilkum area, rich in innumerable minerals, if I may say so, is a treasure trove of our country's treasures. Shifkat Mirziyoyev, President of the Republic of Uzbekistan. Recovering treasures deposited naturally in the bowels of the earth is a destiny of hard-working and dedicated persons. This golden stream, as if from a mountain spring, is extracted from the stone by courageous people. All of them work in Navoy mining and metallurgical combine. It is the largest mining complex in the world and one of few enterprises having complete mining and processing cycle, from mines and quarries to finished product output. The plant is in top 10 world leaders of mining gold and uranium. NMMC is the nation's pride of Uzbekistan. The combine is our life. This is our destiny. The main treasure of the combine is people. The main treasure of the combine is specialists. They are very much appreciated and all conditions are created for them. In terms of occupied area, scope of activities, profitability of the country level, size of industrial facilities, range of product output, number of employees and financed social support programs, the combine is the largest enterprise in Uzbekistan and contributes significantly to the regional development and social stability of the country and supports the strengthening of economic power of Uzbekistan. Our combine offers products competitive in the world market and produces the products that are always in demand in our country. Evidently, therefore, our activity plays an important role in economic strength of the country. Of course, in the development of the combine, there is a great input made by the country's leadership and government, which always provided direct assistance in the growth of mining and metallurgical production of the combine. The company employs 60,000 people, and everyone can call the combine as their second home. In 2018, the combine celebrates 60th anniversary. This is a significant event. It takes place in time of active modernization, growth and expansion of capacities, in time of active support by the government and the president of Uzbekistan, Shafkat Mirziyoyev. And this anniversary is celebrated with marking the beginning of a new development era of Navoy mining and metallurgical combine. Born in hot Kizilkum desert, the combine is hardened by overcoming difficulties. It is impossible to squeeze water out of a stone, but people here succeeded to retrieve gold, uranium and other useful elements out of a stone. The production way begins in quarries and mines, where the miners go deep into the rock. But we begin our story, like these miners, from the deep history. An uranium deposit called Uchkuduk was discovered back in 1952. So Uchkuduk city became the cradle of industrial giant in Kizilkum desert. Then in 1956, construction of a base for the main priority facilities was started. Continuous water supply complex, hydro power station, railway to Uchkuduk, temporary airport, so, September the 1st, 1958, can be considered as the birthday of the combine. From that moment, the development of which Kuduk uranium deposit began. The combine went a long way of development during the first 30 years of its establishment. It was the path of romantics and pioneers, employees and thinkers, engineers and workers. In 1958, a village settled down near the Carmine station was named after the great poet 
Alisher Navoy, and the newly opened enterprise was named Navoy Mining and Metallurgical Combine. At the same time, Morantown deposit was discovered. In the 60s, a construction department was created in Uchkuduk, and first residential houses were erected. Navoy Uchkuduk Railway Line was opened for freight traffic. Central Research Laboratory and Pilot Workshop No. 1 were commissioned, where pilot scale tests of uranium recovery technology were started using ores of Uchkuduk deposit. Construction of repair and mechanical plant was started. Northern Mining Administration introduced technology for uranium recovery using underground ore leaching method. In 1964, Central and Southern Mining Administrations were organized. Hydrometallurgical plant HMP-1 No. 1 was put into operation and industrial production of uranium oxide was started. On March 1, 1967, the first massive explosion works were carried out in Muruntau Open Cast Mine and open type development of Muruntau deposit was launched. Construction of HMP2 plant began. In 1969, the first bullion of gold weighing 11 kilograms 820 grams was produced at HMP2. In 1973, gold products of NMMC were awarded the state quality mark. In 1975, the first 100 million cubic meters of rock were removed from Muruntau Quarry. In 1985, a sulfuric acid plant in Uchkuduk was commissioned. In 1986, Zarafshan Uchkuduk Potable Water Pipeline was built and commissioned. In the first years of independence, by the initiative of the first president, Islam Karimov, Navoy Mining and Metallurgical Combine was provided with large government financial subsidies, which made it possible to significantly increase production, to furnish all units with advanced equipment and technologies, to build and launch new enterprises. In 1995, a new hydrometallurgical plant number no. 3 and quarries at Kokpates and Dogustau deposits were put into operation. It was definitely a victory. The victory of a new time, of an independent country, capable to tackle large and complex projects. In 1997, an uranium mine was put into operation at Conductu Bay deposit using underground ore leaching method. In 1998, Kizilkum Phosphorite Complex was built and commissioned. Thanks to active support and relentless attention from the government of Uzbekistan, the combine during the independence years has managed not only to stay in the top 10 of the world's leading gold and uranium mining companies, but also to secure the status of industrial giant, a unique state-owned enterprise. Not everyone knows and imagines what NMMC is today. The Combine is an industrial giant and social guarantor. It includes Management of NMMC in Navoy Administrative and Management Center of the Combine Central Mining Administration in Zarafshan Gold Mining, Production of Phosphorite Rock and Explosives Northern Mining Administration in Nochkuduk uranium and gold mining and processing complexes. Southern Mining Administration In Nurabad, there are mines of underground uranium ore leaching, gold ore mines. The subdivisions of NMMC include five major mining and metallurgical enterprises. Mining Administration HMP-1 in Navoy, production of uranium oxide concentrate and gold. Zarafshan Construction Administration In Zarafshan Construction Works Production of Construction Materials The operation zone of the Combine covers five regions of the Republic.
The new millennium opened new horizons and new heroes for the enterprise. Rightfully named as the government's foreign currency workshop, the HMP2 plant is the pride of the combine. It brings credibility and world fame to the country. Up to 1991, the production capacity of the plant was 19 million tons of ore per year. Today, this figure has doubled. Today, its capacity exceeds 38 million tons of ore processed per year. Such fantastic growth has become possible due to innovative complex of technical upgrading works, commissioning of new facilities, and introduction of R&D results since the 2000s. The International Official Congress of Enterprises in Madrid awarded the products of the combine with the marks the best trademark and superior commercial prestige. In diverse years, the gold product of the company received the highest marks in the world market. It makes you to be proud when you feel that this combine is one of the largest in the world and the fact that we work here, because it is known all over the world. Implementation of new investment project in HMP3 became a special event since the beginning of the new millennium. A technology of processing sulfide ores by bacterial oxidation has been successfully introduced and used. Today, the plant is unique of its kind with a complex structure and modern equipment. This plant is designed with the use of the cutting-edge standards. The bacterial oxidation technology is a process where ore mined from a quarry and preliminary enriched by technological flotation is oxidized with the help of certain types of bacteria. International practice proved this technology to be the most cost-effective and environmentally friendly. And today we are the leaders in the efficiency and in the capacity of ore processed by bacterial oxidation technology. In 2002, Zarmitan and Marjan Bula gold mines were included in Southern Mining Administration of NMMC. Then in 2010, the fourth hydrometallurgical plant HMP4 was built here in record time. It was the second plant built over the years of independence. As a result, for the last decade, the gold output in Southern Mining Administration has increased sevenfold. We have fully completed our plans for 2017. In 2018, we scheduled to exceed last year's result by 26%. In 2018, a new mine was put into operation at the Gujamsai with the shaft depth of 15 meters and the diameter of 6 meters. This is the first structure of this type built during the years of independence of our country. In order to work underground, a worker must be selfless, doing his work in good faith and carry it out in a timely manner. Muruntau Gold Deposit is the pride of the combine. That is a large facility, mining 50% of total country's gold annually. Muruntau Quarry is the world's largest open-pit gold mine. The launch of the high-angle inclined conveyor complex KNK270 became the pride and important event in the development of the open pit mining in Muruntau field. Its height is 270 meters and capacity is 3,500 tons per hour. This conveyor is second to none in world practice. Its angle is 37 degrees, while in other countries it doesn't exceed 15 degrees.
Today, the depth of the pit is over 600 meters, means Tashkent TV Tower would have burrowed in its depths. Even Moscow Astankana TV Tower would have completely fit into Moronto. However, presently there are works carried out to strip the next fifth level with a design depth down to 1080 meters, so the highest building Burj Khalifa can fit into the depths of Murintao Quarry. Another important activity of the combine is mechanical engineering, which is a part of functions of Navoy machine building plant, manufacturing over 14,000 products annually, over 140 billion sums worth. According to results of last year, the overall amount of products manufactured within 40 projects of the localization program is estimated 47 billion sums, with the total nomenclature of 525 product items. Moreover, 10 billion sums worth production in 9 projects were manufactured to reduce import. In localized production plan for 2018, there are 58 projects, which 22 of them are new, as well as the manufacture of import substituting products within 95 projects. The structure of the combine includes subdivisions, whose contribution is very significant. This is motor transport administration with the modern machinery. A railway division holds the first place in freight traffic of the country and providing a large contribution to the development of the combine. Production Automation Department Grid and Substation Department Housing and Communal Utilities Administration United Energy Service Geological Survey Expeditions Central R&D Laboratory NMMC Security Service decently undertaking their duty Fire Service equipped with the modern technology all these people serve for achieving overall objectives. For 60 years, the industrial complex of Navoy MMC has been operating steadily with high technical and economic indicators. During the years of independence, Uzbekistan increased production of gold and uranium by one and a half times. Such achievement was possible due to technical modernization of existing plants, launch of new facilities and introduction of the latest R&D results, which significantly increased the efficiency of gold and uranium recovery. All that resulted in better output of refined gold increased by 145%, output of silver increased more than 8 times, Production of oxide uranium increased by 162%. Due to this, Uzbekistan entered the top 10 countries' producers of gold and became an intensively emerging country, successfully developing its richest resources, possessing a highly developed industrial complex and the cutting-edge technologies. Our country not only has huge natural deposits of the precious metal, but it produces gold of the highest purity and quality. The mark 999.9 .9 on Kuzilkum bullions has become the trademark of Uzbekistan in the international precious metals markets. Many of large enterprises of the world means world-famous companies, researchers and world-known engineers sometimes dream of visiting Navoy Mining and Metallurgical Combine. Supported by the country's leadership, the construction of new mining and processing facilities, industrial modernization and automation, increase of investment in capital construction have been carried on that allowed stable growth in mining and processing of gold ore and uranium. During the years of independence of Uzbekistan, the amount of investment in capital construction sector increased sevenfold as compared to 1991. The capital construction units of the combine have absorbed over 4 billion US dollars of capital funding.
and put into operation industrial and social facilities totaling over 3.4 billion US dollars, including 398 industrial and more than 40 social facilities. Also, construction and installation works were completed that include commissioning new facilities for gold ore mining and processing, technical upgrade and modernization of existing mining and metallurgical capacities. In order to conduct scientific research on current topics of industrial activities, the Combine has established close links with scientific, research and educational organizations, as well as foreign institutions in Russia, Germany and Sweden. Since 1991, the Combine has submitted over 200 patent applications to the Intellectual Property Agency of Uzbekistan, obtained more than 47 patents and author certificates for inventions, utility models, industrial designs and databases, four certificates for trademarks. A new page in history of our combine opened in 2017. NMMC employees were recognized internationally. Scientists of the Mining Institute, together with specialists of the combine, have developed a new technology for extracting gold out of the refractory ores. For the first time in the history of our country, a gold medal for invention and winner diploma of the World Intellectual Property Organization was awarded to employees of the Combine. They developed a unique method of extracting gold from refractory sulfide gold arsenic ores. The most important factor for sustainable development of the Combine is continuous improvement of production management that complies with the international standards ISO and OHSAS. In 1994, NMMC Gold was awarded a status of good delivery by the London Bullion Market Association. In 1997, NMMC Gold was successfully certified at the Tokyo Industrial Goods Exchange. In 2012, the London Association once again confirmed the status of the good delivery for the Combine's Gold. The European Society for Quality Research honored the Combine for outstanding commitment to quality in 2017. Thus, the trademark of Uzbekistan on gold bars is recognized worldwide as ensuring the highest quality product. Today, a museum of the Combine reflects vividly the history of the company. On the occasion of the 60th anniversary, the museum halls were replenished with the new exhibits. A special exposition is devoted to materials telling about tremendous success of the multinational team of the Combine over all these years. In the labor glory of NMMC section, high words of the Combine are exhibited, as well as information about scientists and specialists outstanding employees who made an invaluable development input, photographs depicting unforgettable moments. For their great services in increasing economic potential of our country during the years of independence, some 300 employees and specialists of the Combine were honored with high governmental awards and titles, such as the Hero of Uzbekistan, Honored Industry Worker of the Republic of Uzbekistan, as well as diverse orders and medals. The main strategy of the HR policy in the Combine consists of timely and quality staffing of existing and newly commissioned facilities with competent specialists and highly qualified workers, training of competent employees, 
Olympic Combine has established cooperation with higher educational institutions of the country in order to train specialists demanded by mining and metallurgical industry. One of the many universities providing the Combine with specialists is the Novoi State Mining Institute. By its profile, the institute is the only institution in the Central Asian region producing specialists for mining and metallurgical industry. Today, more than 3,000 students are educated here. Since September the 1st, 2016, we moved to this new building, where all conditions are provided for education highly qualified personnel. I believe that the level of equipment is very good, and that allows students to obtain very high qualifications and become good specialists. Professional development of specialists, managers and employees is carried out in six training centers of the Combine, institutes and advanced training centers countrywide. At the moment, local personnel constitute more than 93% of workers and over 90% of managers. Among the managers and specialists, you can find 7 doctors of technical sciences, 31 candidates of science. This is a result of systemic measures taken in the local engineering training field. Expansion of production and technical potential cannot be provided without the suitable and long-term economic and social development programs. Therefore, industrial activity of the Combine is closely linked with provision of decent social conditions and life quality for the workers and their families. The social infrastructure of NMMC today encompasses five cities and two settlements. The management of NMMC pays special attention to their quality improvement. In the recent years, the Combine built 36 apartment houses in Zarfshan, 12 in Ochkuduk, 10 comfortable cottages and one dormitory for young employees in Zafarabad, 10 apartment houses and 4 dorms in Zarkand. Over 1,300 employees became owners of comfortable houses during last years. I graduated from the magistracy of the Tashkent Institute of Information Technology in 2011. Then I was assigned to NMMC as a young specialist. I began work in Uchkuduk. You know, the Combine provides good support to young specialists. NMMC Management and Trade Union Committee pay great attention to young generation. Every summer, more than 10,000 children of NMMC employees, aged from 7 to 14, have rest in the countryside and city children's recreation camps owned by the Combine. Medical and Sanitary Department and Medical Services of NMMC provide healthcare services to all Combine's employees and their families. Also, for healthcare purposes, NMMC operates sanatoriums, Metalurg in Navoy, Kanji in Uchkuduk, and Preventarium in Nurabad. The NMMC sanatorium located in Zamin district of Jizak region is about to receive guests. More than 14,000 employees and their families' members have rest there every year. To ensure full physical training and the cultural development in the cities, the Combine created sports complexes, swimming pools, football fields, as well as palaces of culture, village clubs, where various musical ensembles, clubs and libraries operate. In 2018, the Fountains Alley opened in Zarafshan city. Water jets iridescent with all colors of the rainbow rise to a height of 14 meters. In the evening time, after sunset and the end of a hot day, 
local citizens gather around a singing and illuminated coolness spot and enjoy colorful scenes. In order to provide the employees with high-quality agricultural and food products, the Combine commissioned poultry farms in Karmana, Antarmas districts and in Zarafshan, created an intensive 100 hectares orchard in Nurata district. Since the autumn of 2015, all necessary agrotechnical measures are carried out in 1,500 hectares of land the allocated in the Zamin district, Jizak region. Also, new livestock farming complexes in Kushrabad and Timdi districts are put into operation. Presently, wide prospects are opening up before the industry. Initiated by the President of Uzbekistan, Shavkat Mirziyoyev, new development programs for the next decade have been adopted. In the period until 2026, 27 investment projects totaling 3 billion US dollars will be implemented in Novoy MMC, along with creation of more than 30,000 new jobs. What will this program provide? All our work, all our activity must be resulted in improved well-being of our entire nation. The construction of HMP5 plant at the Ominso Amantai mine has already begun by today. This project worth nearly 400 million US dollars will process 5 million tons of ore annually. The president of our country noted the great socio-economic importance of the construction of new hydrometallurgical plant. This day will remain as one of the most remarkable date. Over 60 years since its foundation, and especially since the years of independence, Navoy Mining and Metallurgical Combine has turned into a huge complex of large-scale mining and door processing enterprises. In many respects, structural subdivisions of the Combine are unique in the world, engaged in large-scale mining of mineral resources, which are so rich in the depths of our country. They also produce a wide range of products for various sectors of the national economy. Nevoy Mining and Metallurgical Combine essentially turned into the pivot surrounded by created large economic economic region, a modern technopolis. The huge personnel of the Combine and the population of the technopolis created by NMMC for 60 years in the Andalus Desert represents 45 nationalities united in a common cause and inspired by a common intention to be helpful for their country, to make their personal contribution in its further prosperity. After all, only a man of spirit is capable to make a fire out of a stone, a golden fire. <laughs>